and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. Um, this week I'm going to be doing a book haul. Um, last Sunday, a week today, a week ago today, um, I went on an independent bookshop tour of um, London with two booktubers, um, Katie from Books and Things, I will link her channel below, and Verity from Nerdy English Girl who I will also link her channel below. We, I say it was a tour, we went to uh, three independent bookshops and a uh, one massive chain bookshop, so um, not so much of a tour, but it was a lovely, lovely day, um, and I saw some places in London that I wouldn't have seen before, and it was just so nice to go to all the different bookshops. So I managed to buy something in each of the bookshops that we went to, so I'm just going to go straight in and um, talk about it. So the first bookshop we went to was um, Word on the Water, which is a bookshop on a longboat, um, which is, at the moment, it is at Angel. Um, it was going to move the next day so I'm not quite sure where it is um, now but they have got a Facebook page so I will link that Facebook page below but it was amazing it was so cute to go to a bookshop on a longboat it's a beautiful day so when we got there they weren't quite open so we just sat on the river for a bit um, and then when we went in we realized that they were quite reasonably priced as well it's a second-hand bookshop which is not a problem for me I buy loads and loads of my books secondhand um, and they were all, all paperbacks for two for five pound which is really good and a lot of them were in really superb condition um, the bookshop is just set out so beautifully um, at the back of the um, bookshop they've got a sort of um, kids section with a little sofa and um, all the kids books around and then the next bit's fiction and it's got some language books and things like that and then they also lay out lots of books outside on top of the boat um, it's just a really nice place, really different to any other bookshop I'd, I'd ever been in, and it was just lovely. Um, I bought two books in there. The first one was uh, Brett Easton Ellis, Less Than Zero. Um, I've read a few Brett Easton Ellis befores um, and really enjoy his writing. Um, it's a really short, nice little book, and also we spent the, a lot of the day talking about Christmas and things, and um, it just so happened that this, this book is, um, is set at Christmas, so I thought, oh, well, I like Brett Easton Ellis anyway, and this will be a really good book to read, because in December I like to read nothing but books that are to do with Christmas so I'm going to save this and read this in December. Um, the other book I bought was The Commitments by Roddy Doyle. This is a book that I've got out from the library before um, it's also a really good a really good condition really nice copy um, and I never got round to reading it so I thought this would be a perfect time to buy it and I really want to go and see the stage show so I thought it'd be a good chance to read this and then go and see the stage show after. So they're the two books that I bought in Word on the Water. Um, next we went on to Foils which I know it isn't an independent bookshop. It was my first trip to Foils, however, and it was amazing. I've been to lots and lots of big chain bookshops like Waterstones, etc., but this was amazing. It is set out over, I think, seven floors. There's a massive auditorium at the top where they do talks, where they get um, authors in and things like that, and I'm really, really going to look into their website and go and see some because Katie, who I went on the book tour with, actually works at Foils, so it was so cool to be able to walk around Foils, and um, she was able to tell us where things are and what happens and she'd been to a few talks there and got a few signed copies and things like that so um it's just a lovely lovely bookshop so the auditorium at the top then a really nice looking restaurant we didn't eat in there but it looked amazing and then sort of goes down into languages theatre and it's just laid out beautifully and it was just such a really nice bookshop and we actually spent quite a lot of time in there which was amazing as i said katie works there so we all almost had to sort of like behind the scenes <laughs> expert with us um, as she was able to tell us where everything was so I bought three books in there um, the first book I bought was a gift for my boyfriend just because he's so wonderful and lovely um, and that is um, the We Don't Need Roads The Making of Back to the Future the trilogy by Cassine Gaines my boyfriend is obsessed with Back to the Future. He has t-shirts of Back to the Future on, he has wall art with Back to the Future on, his phone case is Back to the Future, he watches Back to the Future at least once a month and he just loves it. So as a little present I thought I would buy him this um, and he was very very pleased with it. I wouldn't actually mind a read of this because I really do like the film, I've only seen the first film um, but he's going to read that when we go on holiday at the end of the month so I'm pleased that I bought him a book that he is able to take away on holiday with him. Uh, the next book I bought was one of the little Penguin um, ATP classics and this is the Jane Austen, the beautiful Cassandra um, one. As I said, this is just an ATP classic. They've got a huge range of these out. They've been out for quite a while. They're on booktube all the time, so I'm sure I don't really need to go into it much detail. Um, again, Katie, who I was on the book tour with, um, she um, she loves Jane Austen, and um, she's read this, and I thought, well, I can't go somewhere with Katie and not buy a Jane Austen book. So this was just a little ATP classic, which is very fun. Uh, the last book I bought is um, another massively... Um, 
talked about book on booktube um, it is Kirsty Logan the rental heart and other fairy tales so this is a short um, a short story collection Katie had already read this and Verity bought this on the day um, so we, we I bought this too so we are book sisters with this um, I'm really looking forward to reading this I'm thinking of actually taking it away with me on holiday um, because I think it will be a really nice book to read sort of like pick up and read a short story and put it down again um, but yeah, I've heard so much about it. She's brought out another short story collection recently called... <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. She's brought out another short story collection recently which has really been doing lots of featuring in lots of YouTube video, uh, booktube videos at the moment um, but yeah I'm looking forward to reading this will be my first Kirsty Logan and um, Katie said she'd actually been to a talk with Kirsty Logan there so that was just one of the examples of the things that they do at Foils and I loved it in there and I definitely want to go back weirdly I was there on the Tuesday afterwards because we went to see Elf the Musical and I walked past Foils and I was like let me in let me in but I wasn't able to go in but I'm definitely going to make the trip to London to go there again because it was amazing um, the last bookshop we ended up going into uh, was the London Review Bookshop which is a, a small walk a short walk away from um, from foils and um, it was really enjoyable in there beautiful bookshop unfortunately lots of scaffolding outside lots of work going on on the outside of the building really quiet in there and just calm and nice um, all the fiction books upstairs and then the small children section downstairs with plays and poetry and things um, nice big sofa down there I had a little sit down and looked through a um, for a map a children's map book because I quite like maps um, and it was just lovely in there it, it was it didn't have quite the charm of um, the word on the water um, obviously a new bookshop so all all new all new books in there um but it was just lovely really calm really lovely and in there i bought another atp classic i bought emily bronte's the night is darkening around me and um i didn't realize at the time but having since looked it's um it's a collection of poetry and I, i'm really not into poetry so i'm, I'm pleased i bought this because i wouldn't have i just picked it up thinking oh yeah i'd like that one um so i'm gonna i'm really gonna give this a good go and um and read that through so um those are the books that i bought in the bookshops that we went into we finally went to um we, we walked along to um, book and Kitchen which is in Notting Hill it's a, um, a restaurant with a bookshop inside it or a bookshop with a restaurant inside it whatever you however you like to think of it unfortunately it had been closed the day we went there um, they had a um, an outside visit or something we didn't realize until we got there so it is quite a walk from Notting Hill station as well so we tro trooped up there all excited and then um, found out that it was actually closed that's really unfortunate but we definitely want to go back there, so we're definitely going to do this again and go to Book and Kitchen. Um, Persephone Books is another one that we want to go to. And um, we're just walking back from, from Book and Kitchen, when we were walking back to the tube station, we noticed there's quite a lot of bookshops around there. So we're going to do another little book independent book sh uh, bookshop tour as well. So those are the books that I bought on my... Um, on my bookshop tour. I uh, had a really lovely day, it was so lovely, the weather was beautiful, it was really nice to meet up with two booktubers and we had to chat about so many books, it was amazing and it's really nice to go book shopping with people who are as mad about books as you are because they've got so much inside knowledge on things and things you haven't read they've read and things like that so it was amazing and it was such a lovely day so thank you Katie and Verity for meeting up with me to do that I hope we do it again soon and I will see you all again soon with another booktube video. Goodbye!